your thoughts. Okay, guys, uh, so that was our, uh, we had a little bit of movie news today. Um, now we're going to go into our main topics. Uh, previously in the week, you guys had emailed me uh, a few questions. And if you guys want to get an email question on the show, it's really rather simple. All you have to do is write me an email at gotta love them movies at gmail.com. Gotta love them movies at gmail.com. Really easy, really simple. Just shoot me an email. It's a 24 hour service because, you know, email. <laughs> email. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so without further ado, we're going to take your emailed questions, right, and open up the Gotta Love Them Movies mailbag. All right, you guys, we're going to open up that Gotta Love Them Movies mailbag right now. And our first email comes to us from Tonya, Tanya, who lives in Franklin, Pennsylvania, my my birthplace, the place where I was birthed uh, and raised for the first seven years of my life. And Tanya says, hey, Mike, on your show the other day, you mentioned how much you hate Billie Eilish and her new theme song for the upcoming James Bond movie. This is true. Why do you hate her so much? I think the song sounds great. Well, Tanya, thank you so much for the question. And, you know, even more than that, thanks for watching the show. Um, and Why do you hate Billie Eilish so oh, much? Oh, I'm a, oh, here we go. I mean, I've heard you say it, but I've never gotten into it. So I am curious what you hate about First, her. First, like, are you, do you, you're familiar with her, her style of music, yes? Sort of, just like, ah, angsty teen grunge in my bedroom with my, brother playing all this other sounds so uh, i'm not entirely opposed. that's my impression of billy eilish <laughs> it's pretty good it's pretty spot on actually <laughs> pretty, i had harrison greenbaum on the show the other day and we were talking about uh billy eilish and he was like do your best billy eilish and he was like meh, 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 meh. and he's like no 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 you need to whisper yeah. i'm okay so so there's a certain trend within music where, and keep in mind, none of this matters. My opinion doesn't matter. It like it doesn't. It straight up does not matter. So all that be <laughs> the the preface being put out there. Um, I am I am the kind of person that in my music I love melody, even if melody is reduced to a hook or um or uh or, or like a loop. I'm all for it. Like, I love, like... You want to be able to sing yeah, along. I love humming the tune. And with mm -hmm. a Billie Eilish song, there is no tune. It's, you know, let's look at the, the song Bad Guy. It goes, dun, 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 dun. It's two notes. Two notes. Scoop, 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 That's all it is. And she just says scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop. Yep. Is she, like, a really big fan of uh, Scooby-Doo? I mean, I think secretly, probably. Scoob, scoob. <laughs> <laughs> My only exposure to Billie Eilish is, did you watch um, Some Good News when John Krasinski was like that in charge of it before he Every sold it off and, and it again, became terrible? I catch an episode, but I didn't watch it regularly, no. Well, he did like a prom. He like hosted a prom and had some celebrity guests come in and perform. And she was one of oh, them. That's cool. And it was really nice. But she and her brother like pre-recorded it which i totally understand sure. for you know whatever but she was so dull like when john krasinski was interviewing her before she just was like sitting like a troll like a like a not a troll that's mean but like <laughs> she was just kind of like hunched over and like i don't care and well, it's like if you don't care then why did you do this it's the same reason that i don't like watching Kristen stewart on screen i don't like oh. watching her in an interview it's there's this there's this weird idea or attitude that exists in certain pockets oh. of uh pop culture or, or like entertainment really where certain people play the too cool for school part and and I get it, Billy. I, I think you and I really lean into that brand. I just don't. Um, I don't want that. people to get all up in my stuff. Please. <laughs> I've been doing like this uh, this raspy uh, uh, like vocal fry very lately, and mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just right in the back of my throat. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but like, there's this too cool for school attitude that is just so annoying to me. Yeah. And I like. Here's the thing. Let's. Let's see it for what it is. Billie Eilish is a three. I think she won three Grammys 
at her very f- her debut album. Was it three? Should three I Google or four? it? Oh, I have no. It's idea. either three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and Google it. Okay. Uh, she won either three or four Grammys. The first time she ever went to the Grammy, you know, except for like uh, a few singles here or there, it was her first album, her very first album, her debut album. She won all these Grammys, and um, and she's eighteen years old. And nothing against her accomplishments because that is a massive accomplishment. Four. It was four four Grammys? I think so. This is showing her as... Hmm. Oh, in 2019... Uh, this is very complicated. I think you could be right. Scoop, I saw scoop. in Wikipedia four. Scoob, scoob, scoob. Four scoob, 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 scoob. Um, yeah. So, I mean, Billie, Billie Eilish is talented, and I don't want to take that away from her. Because she, she is very talented. You don't win. She's just not your cup of She's tea. She's not my cup of tea. And when it comes to a James Bond song, here, let me bring this uh, photo back up again. Uh, when it comes to- I a, haven't heard a, it. A, oh, you should check it out. Because there, the tune isn't terrible. It's okay. Um, it it um, harkens back to kind of- the specter theme with um adele uh, no adele did skyfall uh oh shoot who did Spectre? sure sure of course she did oh man what's his name um if anybody's watching can you tell me the name of uh the guy who did the sam sam smith sam smith so sam smith did the, the theme song for specter and it was eh, it was okay it wasn't great again it tried to be too cool for school and the billy eilish song in my opinion is so whispery. Here's the thing. When it's a James Bond theme song, we, the audience, need to go on a musical journey at the very beginning of the film to let us know what to expect. Like, is this going to be a big action movie? Is it going to be passionate? Is it going to be romantic? Like, what? Like, is it going to be sexy? Like, what is this movie that I'm about to watch going to be take me on a musical journey give me a preamble you know that's the whole point of a james bond song like the opening theme song and when you have this <laughs> like this angsty whisper is that what i'm supposed to expect from a james bond theme song i'm not saying it's a bad song a but Go ahead. do you also, I would counter this. I haven't heard the song and I agree with everything you've said about Billie Eilish to this point. So I'm not arguing with you in general, but I will say that I really like Adele and I thought her James Bond song was like, so maybe it's the, the ask is so Hold big. On. You, you, wait, you said the, the Adele song was what? I thought the Adele theme song for, for Skyfall. I thought it was really like, bleh. Oh, totally. Just like, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And I so I wonder if just like the idea of creating a theme song for James Bond is such a big undertaking that there's no way to feel like nailed it, right? So it's just everybody sort of misses the mark. That's a but fair also, that's a fair perspective. I haven't heard this new one and I'm positive that you're right. <laughs> I mean, it's uh it's whispery and it, it it just didn't do it for me. It's not the kind of song that I would point to and say, yes, this is a James Bond song, you know? Same same mm-hmm. thing with, you know, you know, just Billie Eilish in general. She's not a bad musician. She's, as you put it, not my cup of tea. She's not the kind of music that is, first of all, it's not meant for me. Like, I am not no, the demographic. You are not the target. No, not at all. Um... And again, I would also argue that this upcoming James Bond movie, even though is for my demographic, it is not being marketed towards my demographic because for for the franchise to continue. Well, you're already going to see it. um, Exactly. Yeah. It's a guaranteed thing. I'm already going to go see it. You don't have to. Yeah. So um, anyway, question is for you guys. Um, What do you think of the Billie Eilish theme song? Have you had a chance to listen to it? I mean, I, I'm, I I don't want you to navigate away from this show because, of course, this is so riveting. But, uh, you know, check it out when you have it a, have a chance. Did you love it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in between? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, 
click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Jaws the Shark would want you to do. Dun 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 dun